Old Don Lamon is really blaming everybody else except for himself for his absolutely poor performance in his debut interview with the Don Lemon Show wherever it's going to be syndicated, hosted, platformed, whatever moving forward except for himself. Like, he had to know at some point in time if you were going to try to make the claims where Elon Musk is censoring uh, free speech, he didn't like the way that I conducted my interview. Eventually, people were going to see the interview in question, judge for themselves whether or not it was justified that Elon and X decided to renege on their end of the bargain by not promoting your show. Now that we've seen what you had on offer, um, I think it's a good decision by X and by Elon because that was an incredibly poor performance. I would not want to have my name attached to that Hindenburg at all, whatsoever. But instead of taking accountability, learning from the situation, vowing to do better, and you know, I don't know, growing from it, this is why you never deal with leftists, because it's always going to be your fault. And he's even made stupid claims, this is Don Lemon by the way, that Elon Musk doesn't like people that look like Don Lemon. It's so hilarious because Elon Musk is, by the definition, more of an African-American than Don Lemon, but uh, Lemon's interview with Elon Musk only has 400,000 views since launching on X on Monday morning, and the host told the rap it is because the platform is suppressing the conversation, and then you've got directly from Twitter's, or I guess X's official news account, no suppression here, X believes in free speech, you might want to go check YouTube, there's only 188,000 views on it, because you know where a vast majority of the views are coming from? Stupid clips that are coming out from this, but before we get into the clips, I, I want to take a look at these contract demands that leaked after I recorded my video of Don Lemon whinging and complaining about, oh, Elon Musk, oh, he thought he was for free speech, but now he doesn't want to give me a bunch of money for my terrible show. Weird. But apparently he wanted quite, quite a lot for not a lot in return. In a dramatic pre-exit talk with X, Lemon's demands read like a celebrity writer. He wanted a Tesla Cybertruck. I think those are, are, are don't those run like six digits? Five million dollar advance on top of an eight million dollar salary. I, I, I don't even know if Tucker Carlson's demands were these lofty. An equity stake in X. Oh, oh okay, so he wants ownership in X and the power to approve policy changes. List didn't stop there. Private jet to Vegas, a luxury suite, day drinking, and massages for him and his fiance were also on the table. Well, we know Don really likes to get felt up by random people, so that all checks out. Despite Elon's initial engagement, uh, Lemon's hefty wish list and a prickly interview led to his swift firing. That in which we're going to be taking a look at, okay, care of uh, Mario... N now, Paul, for clipping out this first of many prickly scenarios, we're not going to play all of them. I'll link out to everything if you want to watch you know, some of the clips that are selected because they're fairly verbose. And quite frankly, the summation of each of these points more than suffices because uh, Don Lemon, uh, what he was criticized for by Elon Musk directly was he was unprepared or I'm sorry, unprepared and conducted himself just like he was an empty vessel from CNN which, hey man, in the aftermath of this stuff, where was the first outlet that Don Lemon ran back to to do his reporting to? Oh, makes a lot of sense now. So did Don go too far? I don't know. You've admitted that you have a ketamine prescription. What's that for? What? I, okay, of all the questions to ask Elon Musk, who is inarguably one of, if not the most interesting people on Earth, a legit genius, a man who has traversed the stars, has lofty aspirations well beyond that, made the electric vehicle something not just functional, but cool and sought after. Sought after so much that you tried to include it in your contract with X. So has a distinguished underground tunnel company, but you decide to go, hey, you're on prescription medicine meds what's that like strange all right elon in response to that it's pretty private to ask somebody about a medical prescription you know there are times when i have a negative chemical state in my brain like depression i guess ketamine is helpful for getting one out of a negative frame of mind 
So yeah, what, a guy who works all the time, a guy who gets burnt out, you know, just has a prescription? Yeah, you and just about every other chick in this western sphere, but shout out to Benny Johnson for cataloging a lot of the stupidity that was on display right there, and that is a perfect pause screen, didn't intend for that, but that's Elon knowing I'm making a gigantic mistake by platforming this absolute talentless hack, but the first of many, okay, we delete things if they are illegal. Okay, but these things have been up for a while. Are they illegal? No, they're not. Yeah, the first of many things that Elon Musk had to debunk from Don Lemon. So he's showing, I, I can just show some of the things that Don was taking huge offense to. And yeah, he was showing memes and a lot of them you're just going to find all over the internet. Oh yeah, that's from Way of the World. Hilarious account. Shout out to them. But yeah, that that's what Don was taking real big offense to. Oh my God, people are posting memes online why don't you take them down and as elon says you take down things that are illegal are they illegal no they're not all right first of many big cell phones yeah elon musk schools a don lemon on a wokeness and a race obsession that's going to be a consistent through line here but a woke mind virus is when you stop caring about people's skills their integrity and you start focusing on things like gender and race and the woke mind virus is fundamentally racist fundamentally sexist and fundamentally evil no it's not it's great i love it shut up sour don lemon has teary meltdown a uh, reading back elon musk's tweet exposing dei directly to him on camera elon's response is just perfect i think we should treat people according to their skills and their integrity that's it and don in that moment knew that he wasn't going to be long for the platform Don Lemon has trouble understanding logic and statistics after Elon implodes DI narrative to his face. Elon, if the standards for passing medical exams and becoming a doctor, especially something like a surgeon, if the standards are lowered, then the probability the surgeon will make a mistake is higher. Fairly sound argumentation. The Lamont's response, I'm not sure I understand. Are, 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 are you slow? Here's a little graph for you just showing very obvious um lowered standards benefiting a certain group that's out there disproportionately so and how many times over were their malpractice suits filed in the past few years in compare or uh, yeah in a comparison to the past a decade or so prior yeah, i'm sure it has nothing to do with that at all elon musk humbles don lemon on his own show don the only reason I'm doing this interview is because you're on the X platform. You asked for it. Otherwise, I would not do this interview. Yeah, I want to hear a little bit of this because at this point in time, I'm pretty sure this is towards the end of the interview. Elon's getting fed up with these pre-canned questions, none of which are really pointed at Elon Musk. It's like, you have, you have Elon Musk. I don't even need to add any additional qualifiers. You already know who he is, okay? You have him there for an interview. And this is the best that you have to offer. You deserve to get roasted to your face. Do you think if there, if, if you moderated yourself more, if there was better content moderation on the platform, that you wouldn't have to answer these questions from? Re okay, like I got to stop before Elon's response. It's just I'm really taken aback by somebody in Don Lemon who has been in front of the camera, who has been on you know cable news for how long? two decades at this point in time just the stumbling and stammering that's on display that's wild stuff you should be a lot more polished than that but then again i don't know maybe your reading skills are really good because if you just have the teleprompter in front of you you're kind of like barack obama in that sense you can just go ahead and sound as articulate and verbose as the most educated among us but you take away that safety blanket and all of a sudden just like barack obama you become a stumbling stammering jackass but I digress. Reporters about the great, great replacement theory as it relates. I don't to have to answer this question. Great replacement theory as it relates to Jewish people. Do you think that? I just from the reporters. Don, the only reason I'm doing this interview is because you're on the X platform and you asked for it. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, I would not do interview with this interview. But, so you don't think? You, do you think that you wouldn't get in trouble or you wouldn't be criticized for these things? What? That, possibly, I could care less. It, you, don't, you don't care no i don't yeah i don't care what especially what you have to say hatchet man that's the thing that i'm pretty sure elon musk found out really quickly elon musk leaves don lemon shaking after exposing why democrats are importing illegals to gain power uh, the democrats would lose approximately 20 seats in the house if illegals were not counted on the census and that's uh, also 20 less electoral votes for president so illegals absolutely do affect who controls the house and who controls the presidency 
Yeah, that's one aspect of it, for sure. I don't think that he's incorrect with that assessment, but I'd imagine Don Lemon and his like are going to be, the source, source, where's your study on that one? So it's not really much of a help for him to elaborate any further on that. So Elon following it up. I may, in the final stretch, endorse a candidate. I don't know yet. I'm leaning away from Biden. Yeah, you've been doing that for a long time, and I, I've never heard Joe Biden come down on the side of going, oh, the bulk mind virus is a really bad thing. So if Elon's going to publicly declare for somebody i think we know where he's going on that one it's going to be so nice to have an african-american endorse the maga agenda uh elon musk instantly disarms don lemon with rapid fire truth nukes after uh, trying to falsely smear x as right wing and megaland conspiracy theory oh this one's only a minute you know. it's moved into sort of magaland no, I, I, don't, theory. I certainly don't think it's right um the the old school twitter uh, suspended and suppressed uh, accounts that you'd call on the right, 10 times more than they did accounts on the left. And even when they did suspend an account on the left, uh, it was because of arguments between two people on the left. Uh, yeah, and if you want to doubt his numbers, remember this is the guy who uh, gutted the Twitter operation and he had uh, access to all the most personal communications on the platform. So, And somebody who's also as hyper-autistic as he is, like, come on now, you're not going to mince stats with this dude, okay, and come out the other end looking successful. Uh, the political donations of old Twitter were 99% Democrat. Does that sound left, right, left wing or right wing to you? The Twitter donations? Yes. You yeah. know when they look at donations by, from a company? If a company donates nine, literally 99%. Uh, he's talking about political campaigns, which side of the aisle old Twitter would go ahead and uh, make the biggest contributions to. Surprise, it's like every other big tech company that's out there. Of all donations, are to Democrats. Does that strike you as a left-leaning or a right-leaning oh, you company? mean the company donated? I understand what you're and saying. What I'm trying to tell you is that uh, Twitter employees, people at Twitter, their political donations were 99%, literally 99% uh, to Democrats. Now, if Don Lemon was actually engaging in this in good faith, okay, if he was being the simple journalist who's asking questions, looking for a genuine response instead of trying to lead his interviewee down a very narrow path in order to get him to apologize for perceived wrongs in the world, I would take him at face value with that shock. It's like, oh, really? It was 99%? He knew. He absolutely knew what was going on right there, and he was trying to play dumb, but it's kind of hard to play dumb when you actually are. Elon Musk, a old Twitter was fundamentally a tool of the far left, and Don Lemon, really? Really? And then finally, Fox News is on the right, CNN is on the left. So Lemon, so that's what you think, and then Elon, am I missing something here? So that was the quality of the interview that Don Lemon put on display for his debut episode and he wonders why his show isn't going to get the endorsement of the platform he tried to paint as an extremist radicalization echo chamber the nod from a man that you tried to put through a public struggle session but yet fail like several other uh, uh, several other of your contemporaries like we noted a little bit into the interview, Elon knew exactly where he was coming from. The world could see exactly where Don Lemon was coming from. And to just quickly go back to what Mario has to point out here, after watching the entire interview with Elon Musk, it's blatantly clear Don isn't equipped for anything but gotcha style CNN interviewing. The pre-written questions like, Don, can we talk about the great replacement theory now? Well, seriously, there's no dialogue. There was a series of, how can I ask the worst possible question to get to the people to be shocked? But the problem is that we have all become immune to this fake outrage, which is definitely definitely being highlighted right now in the way that legacy media that old mass media is covering the trump bloodbath and people that are actually aware of the goings on in the world are looking at that going oh yeah we we see the psyop that's on display right now and one of your more prolific agents from the 2016 and 2020 campaigns are out there on their own twisting in the wind that's a perfect analogy don lemon of 2020 is eek don lemon don lemon of 2024 is a husk of his former self just like the media yeah. Given how poorly he fumbled this bag, I don't anticipate him back even darkening that failing doorstep anytime soon. So with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.